We all know that social media is important, but it comes more naturally to some than others. For an agent, real estate Instagram posts can be one of the most powerful social media tools. A single Instagram post can gain you a following and connect you to prospective customers, but you need to know what you need to post. Every Instagram post is an image or a video. You can add some text and real estate hashtags, but it's not like a Facebook post. The visual is everything. With that in mind, you need to curate your real estate marketing account for visual impact, engagement, and interest. In this video, I'm going to cover 29 types of real estate Instagram posts that you can use to build out your real estate marketing and Instagram story. What's going on everyone? I'm Kyle Handy, a realtor and team leader here in San Antonio, Texas. I help teach other realtors, team leaders, and brokers how to grow and scale their real estate business through digital marketing, content creation, social media, as well as tried and true methods. And if you want proven strategies that you can use to get more leads, closings and scale your team, you'll love this video. Keep watching. Before I get started, if you could do me a huge favor and hit that like button, I'd greatly appreciate it. Also, consider subscribing if you haven't already as I release a new free training three times per week as well as go live every Tuesday and you won't want to miss any of it. Finally, if you'd like my free real estate business plan template to track your sales, commissions, profit and loss, net worth and budget, head over to kylehandy.com forward slash business plan to download it today. Okay, now let's get started. So first up, let's talk about managing your real estate Instagram account. Ideally, you should post a lot for engagement likely multiple times a day. But that doesn't mean that you should be tied to your phone all the time. It's often better to create content for at least a week at a time and schedule it out to be posted throughout the week. This gives you the freedom to actually be a real estate agent while still maintaining a social media presence. While you fill out your next month of content, consider the tips that I'm about to share. Having a larger variety of content can help boost your real estate marketing you'll have something that appeals to everyone. One great post to make is of course, closing photos. There's a reason why so many real estate professionals post closing photos. They're attractive to potential clients. First, buyers will often share the closing photos themselves. So you'll gain access to more than just your own Instagram followers. You'll gain access to theirs. Second, People like seeing people like them purchasing homes. It inspires them and makes them feel like it may be the time for them to take the plunge as well. Number two, remodels and renovations. Take a look at how many people absolutely love house flipping shows. Some of them want to get into the real estate business, but others really just love seeing remodels and renovations. Remodels and renovations are inspiring, interesting, and fun. It can give potential clients something to shoot for, whether it's a look that they want to go for in their current house or a look they want to go for in a house they're going to buy. Number three, open houses. At its heart, a real estate social media account is still about marketing. Don't forget to put up your open houses. Keep your Instagram captions and hashtags local so that you can focus on people who might be interested. Posting open houses doesn't just bring in interested buyers. An open house will also show off your skills. With an attractive Instagram template and professional photography, your followers will discover what you would do if you were working for them. Number four, unique designs. Everyone likes to see a spiral staircase or a claw foot bathtub. If you run into something in a listing that you rarely see today, put it on your real estate Instagram account. Unique designs get your audience talking. When they pop up on your Instagram feed, an Instagram user will be more likely to notice them, like them, and follow you. Number five, interesting and quirky properties. A few entire careers have been built around the social media marketing of interesting and quirky properties. Not only are you catching the eye of potential home buyers, but you're also taking advantage of the way that the social media platform works. Quirky properties are engaging. They boost your audience and your credibility, and eventually that can lead to sales. Next up, before and after photos. Have you been renovating properties yourself? There are a few things in the real estate industry as compelling as a good before and after photo. People love to see rehabbed properties. They may be looking for renovation ideas or they might just see a property that they fall in love with. Either way, it builds your following. 
By the way, if you'd like some great tips to improve your real estate photography skills, check out my other video that I'll link above. Next up, market statistics. Market statistics are great because they're primarily interesting to your target audience. If you're posting information about Chicago home ownership, you're going to get an audience in your area. For a realtor, it's not always about building the largest real estate following. You want to build a following that's local. Local market statistics can help. Number eight, great neighborhoods. Take the time to highlight some of the great neighborhoods around your listings. A lot of people don't buy into a house. They buy into a community. They want to see that they'd be safe, that their children would be happy, and that there'd be a lot of things to do. Highlighting neighborhood features can be a good way to get a potential client to say, I want to live there. Number nine, trails and hikes. Beautiful trails and hikes are great to show off. Not only do they show people features of the surrounding area, but they also get people to stop. When designing your Instagram posts, think about content that will make people feel positive and relaxed. Soon, they'll begin to associate that with your brand. Number 10, inspirational quotes. Inspirational quotes are very popular on Instagram and other social media services. Consider posting some inspirational quotes that relate directly to business or real estate. Your followers will be encouraged to download the image and share it. If it's branded to you, it'll lead their followers back to your account. Number 11, local activities. Because real estate is local, you do want to target local activities frequently. Consider things going on like state fairs things that people in the area would be interested in. Eventually, you'll become a resource for what's going on in the area. People will trust you for their news about local activities and will be more likely to connect with you if they need an agent. Number 12, community events. Likewise, consider community events such as fundraisers or art walks. Take pictures at the events and share what's unique or interesting about them. By covering these events, you'll increase your own visibility. People who are looking for information about the event will be more likely to find you. And because they're looking for a community event, you already know that they're most likely local. Number 13, funny memes. It's probably true that you can't really have a successful real estate Instagram account and entirely avoid memes. Real estate memes are a great way to connect to your audience even if they don't know anything about the real estate industry themselves. They'll see the meme and see you as a person as well as a professional. And again, if you can get a laugh, you're already halfway there. Number 14, local dining. If you're a foodie and someone who loves new dining experiences, this should be right up your alley. Next time you go to a great local restaurant, snap a picture and put up a write-up of the food. Not only will the restaurant appreciate the attention, but you'll also catch the attention of people who are interested in the area. Number 15, behind the scenes. You can humanize the process of real estate by posting behind the scenes photos. Consider taking photos of your process, of your meetings, and other general activities throughout your day. People are fascinated with how the sausage is made. Many of them want to know more about real estate but have never had the chance to learn. Explain what's going on in your description and you'll grab their attention. Next up, goals and updates. Everyone loves a good goal. Set goals for yourself on a monthly, quarterly, or annual basis. Tell people how you're doing even if you're not quite hitting your goals. This gets people more involved and invested in your own professional life and it encourages them to share too. The more personally connected they feel to you, the more likely they are to reach out. Number 17, kids and pets. It's worth it to get a little personal when developing a personal brand. You know who people trust, people like themselves. Posting your kids and pets or even other people's pets can be a great way to get some traction. And sharing a cute animal has never hurt anyone on social media. Number 18, market listings and updates. We still need to remember that we are marketing. Market listings updates are one of the best uses of your social media space. Post great listings and people will follow you who may be looking abstractly for a home. Maybe they don't know when they're going to buy, but they will eventually, and you'll be the first on their mind. Number 19, historic locations. If you're still looking for content ideas, take a look at historic locations. There are some incredible properties out there that might not be for sale, but are nevertheless attractive to look at. You become a real estate professional because you have a love for real estate. 
What are the properties you love the most? What are the things that really interest you? Number 20, mishaps and mistakes. Did you accidentally take down some drywall during the renovation? Or did you show up at the wrong location? Did you drive into a ditch or get stuck in the mud? It's always healthy to be able to laugh at yourself. And if you can get other people laughing with you, you've already won. People love to see mishaps and mistakes, especially if they weren't serious. This can be a great way to relate to your followers and show that you don't take yourself too seriously. Number 21, income updates. What are your income goals? Sharing income updates shows that you're a successful agent or investor, which in turn makes people trust you more. But there's another element here, accountability. When I share my income picture and income goals with everyone, it makes me want to try harder to succeed. Your Instagram page doesn't have to be just about building your marketing. It can also be about building your motivation. Number 22, gifts received. When you receive a lovely gift, don't be afraid to share. First, it shows that you did right by a client enough so that they really wanted to give you a gift. Second, it shows that you genuinely appreciate your gifts. It makes people want to work with you and, of course, it makes the person who sent you the gift feel that much more appreciated. Number 23, local businesses. Consider partnering with local businesses to boost your social media standing. Share their posts and have them share your posts. On Instagram, you can't directly share information, but you can copy images from other pages. Forging relationships with local businesses is one of the most important strategies for a real estate agent. These local businesses are directly tapped into your audience and will be able to give you the best referrals. Number 24, volunteer work. Volunteer work will show your followers that you genuinely care about your community while also giving them more exposure to you as a person. Your content shouldn't be sell, 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 far from it. Your Instagram content is primarily about reaching a new audience and showing them what you're about. When it comes to real estate, people want to work with someone they trust. Number 25 real estate shaming. While tricky to get right, these are frequently the most popular posts. People absolutely adore a good real estate shaming post. Find pictures of terrible bathrooms, inconvenient kitchens, or just remodels gone wrong. Try to find some form of a niche such as inexperienced DIYs. Number 26, holiday celebrations. Wish your followers a happy holiday and post something that's seasonally themed. If you're hurting for content ideas, take a look at a list of obscure holidays. March 30th is Virtual Vacation Day. Set up a virtual vacation background on Zoom and share the picture. Number 27, tips and tricks. Do you have some tips for finding the right investment property? Do you have tricks that you use to renovate or repair properties on a budget? Share tips and tricks that you find valuable. It's something that a lot of people will be willing to like and share. These popular real estate Instagram posts will be shared across related social media channels. Number 28. Q&A posts. Take some time to share your knowledge. A Q&A post can be run two ways. First, ask people if they have any questions for you. You can respond in the comments. Second, ask questions of them. Think of questions like, what's your idea of a dream house? And last but not least, contests. People love to share their own accomplishments. Run contests such as best yard makeover or best bathroom renovation. Offer small prizes and you'll get people following you out of a genuine interest in real estate and renovation. On the one hand, you want your followers to be local, but having an international following can also help. Local followers will see how popular you are and it will enhance your credibility. All right, so now you need to start building your Instagram real estate posts. Services such as Sprout Social can help you schedule out your posts and determine which of your posts are getting the most engagement. You can also consider running an Instagram ad or partnering with an affiliate program or influencer. But in my opinion, the best way to build an Instagram presence is through regular and varied posting. Schedule your real estate Instagram posts for every evening and you'll soon start to develop a following. Are you looking for more tips to leverage your influence on Instagram? Check out my complete tutorial on Instagram for real estate agents, which I'll link above. All right, so now let's hop into some frequently asked questions. Is Instagram good for real estate? Instagram is a uniquely engaging platform for real estate. Rather than focusing on back and forth conversations or shares, it promotes images to a wide audience. Instagram is one of the easiest ways to gain a following because the content is heavily promoted to others. How do you make a good real estate Instagram account? A good real estate Instagram account should have varied, entertaining, and informative content. It should help solve problems for its audience, 
or entertain them. To be successful, you should focus on a general theme, branding, or niche. What should I post on Instagram as a real estate agent? A variety of content is generally best for a real estate Instagram account. You can diversify your audience by putting together an assortment of posts, ranging from informative Q&A posts to fun and entertaining memes. If you liked this video, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel right now. Just click on the subscribe button below this video. Also, hit that thumbs up button and give this video a like as it helps my videos reach more real estate agents looking to grow their businesses. And by the way, if you're interested in partnering with me at eXp Realty, head over to my partner page and check out the exclusive benefits that you receive. I'm passionate about helping agents win. I've already partnered with nearly 100 agents across the country to help them increase their real estate business and generate more leads. And I'm never too busy for you. When you partner with me, you receive free access to all of my current and future paid courses, which you can find on academy.kylehandy.com. Additionally, you get access to my private Facebook community called The Dream Team, where I go live multiple times per week. Head over to kylehandy.com forward slash partner for more information. Finally, if you've made it this far, I want to thank you. Type hashtag end crew into the comments to let me know that you watched to the end. And now I want to turn it over to you. Do you have an Instagram account for your real estate business? Which of these ideas are you excited to try? Until my next video, be well and get out there and sell some homes.